We'll go right to the phone callers. First up is Morgan listening in St. Louis, Missouri. Hi, Morgan. Hi, Hank. Thank you so much for taking my call. Pleasure. I have a 16-year-old who attends public school, and she asked a question that I feel I have an answer to, but uh, I had trouble really going to scriptures that really speak to it. And I said, I know just the person to ask. (laughs) Her question is, is there anything wrong with a Christian girl providing eggs to a fertility institution? And she has three dimensions to her question. One is if she's selling them. Two, if it's to help infertile families, in contrast to three, if it was being provided to homosexual couples. That's the question. And if you could help me, I sure would appreciate it. Yeah, sure. Well, first of all, fertilization of an egg in a glass dish leads to all kinds of problems if you don't look at this from the perspective of a biblical worldview. And that's, of course, why you're asking the question, indeed, how you're asking the question. I would say, first and foremost, the introduction of third parties, no matter who they are, through sperm or egg donation or through surrogate motherhood, is inconsistent with a biblical pattern of continuity between procreation and parenthood. And therefore, if in vitro fertilization is used at all, the sperm and the egg must come from the husband and the wife committed to raising the child. If in vitro fertilization is used as well, it's important to recognize that no more eggs should be fertilized than the couple is willing to give a reasonable chance at full-term life. And the reason for that is if you're discarding an embryo or destroying an embryo, it's the equivalent of killing an innocent human being. Because we believe in a Christian worldview that life begins at conception, when an egg and the sperm combine to form a zygote, you have a human being. And while that human being doesn't have full personality at the moment of conception, it does have full personhood at the moment of conception. Okay, so are you coming down firmly on the side that's saying that eggs should not, or are you saying that ideally they would not, but where are you coming down firmly on that should they or should they not bottom line? No, should not. That's what I thought you were saying. Yeah, and the potentially disastrous consequences of third-party involvements are clearly demonstrated in terms of the lies of biblical characters, not the least of which involve Abraham, Sarai, and Hagar in Genesis chapter 16. Oh, that was the very example I gave her. Go on, you're really helping us. Go yeah. on. The introduction of third parties through sperm or egg donation, in this case it would be egg donation, or through surrogate motherhood, Those are the categories. It's inconsistent with the biblical pattern of continuity between procreation and parenthood. And therefore, if in vitro fertilization is used at all, the sperm and egg must come from the husband and wife committed to raising the child. So if you're going to use the technology, you have to use the sperm and the egg from the husband and wife committed to raising the child. And then on top of that, I think it's really important to recognize that it is scientifically established that human life begins at conception. In other words, an embryo has a distinct human genetic code. It exhibits metabolism, development, the ability to react to stimuli, cell reproduction, and the like. And therefore, if you discard an embryo or destroy an embryo through experimentation, it is the moral equivalent of killing an innocent human being because life begins at conception. Excellent. I essentially had said that to her. I even went to Haggai and Sarai and how that whole dynamic is a major factor in what's going on in the world today after all these generations. So you said it well, and I think hearing it from you might affirm it a little more in my little Christian girl's mind. (laughs) Well, here's what I like to do is I've actually written about this 
in a number of different forums. One, there were some great articles that ran in the Christian Research Journal on in vitro fertilization. And also, I wrote an article on this very issue, and I'll send you that article. I would be grateful. Thank you, Hank. Appreciate it so much. You got it. Thank you for calling.